Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Thor's top of the line Class A gas motorhome. This has one of the best designs for people who love to cook and to love to have a big, spacious bedroom. This is the 2024 Thor Challenger Model 36 FA. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Thor and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you guys this beautiful Thor. Look at this full body paint. It looks absolutely fantastic in the sunlight. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hi everybody. Hey Andrea. How's we, it going? We are here in this beautiful weather here in Wixom, Michigan. Yes. We're so excited because we get to look at another beautiful RV while we're here. Yes. So let's begin. Let's begin, Andrea. Model is Challenger 37FH. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 37 feet 2 inches. This is the Thor Challenger. This is their top of the line Class A gas motorhome. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful and fantastic. You have a great big front windshield. Look at these front headlight designs. You got the chrome right here. LED lights there. Challengers are beautiful and fantastic. Coming on down the side here, we do have chrome mirrors on both sides with the cameras integrated in it. It does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then look at these tires, Dre. They're the Michelins. I love those. 255-80R, uh, 22.5 with shiny Alcoa rims. Coming on down, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights, frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome, and I love the blacked out paint job. I think it looks fantastic. Coming on down here, you got some nice batteries there. Aluminum slam latch doors. Very nice. All right. Coming on down, we have a ton of storage on the outside of this motorhome, Andrea. It is super nice. Over here, we got the Insignia TV. Fresh water tank right there. You know what this is? Oh, that's a place to, to leash up your furry friends. Yes, and it's in a Thor emblem shape there. Right here, we got more storage. Yes, ma'am. And then a here. Propane quick, to, quick connect right there, yep. Yes, there is, and there's your propane tank. And then Miss Jen, if you would, bing, please put all the specifications about this motorhome so everybody can see who's watching on television. Coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Is this 8,000? 8,000 pound hitch. Now I'm not saying you can tow 8,000 pounds. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you must. No before you tow. Yes, ma'am. Backup camera there and a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof with two air conditioning units and everything. And right here, Andrea, here's where you fill up your unleaded fuel in the rear. Coming around, coming around. We do have an Onan 5500 generator. More storage right here. Man, that's a lot, isn't Other it? Other side. Oh my gosh, look the power, the 50 amp power thing's right there. Okay, not a 50 amp power cord reel. It's not expected on these higher end gas motorhomes. It would be a very nice touch, but. No, you know, I was just saying where the 50 amp plug is. Yes. Right there is our outdoor shower, very nice water bay, and everything water purifier, very nice. Instant hot tankless water heater, amazing job painting it. We got some nice storage here. Burr, 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 burr. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right there, we have some awesome storage there. More storage here, very nice. And a little bit more storage there. Well, Andrea, the outside of the challenger looks great but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. <laughs> That's a nice shiny paint job, huh? It is pretty.
After you. All right. Matt, the cargo carrying capacity. I'm walking through here. I got plenty of room. 4,045 pounds. Okay, that is really good. Okay, it's a really good walkway. Look at this. It definitely opens up as you come through the kitchen. You can definitely open the fridge. I'm walking down here. Let me see. You can definitely access the bathroom. Let me see what we got going on in the master bedroom. Looks like we have a tilt to bed. All right, while we get these slides open, let's thank our sponsor. This video is sponsored by 3-in-1 and their collection of easy to use products perfect for maintaining your RV. Today, we are taking a look at the Lock Dry Lube, which penetrates and lubricates, won't attract dirt, and is anti-corrosion. This is a Valor behind us, and we had a hard time with this front door lock. We actually couldn't get it open yesterday. We had to go through the garage. So, Will, try it out for everybody. Okay, we already shook it up, but you're gonna shake it. You're gonna get the little nozzle right in the keyhole, give it a couple good sprays until you see it coming out. Put the key in. Sometimes you gotta work the lube in a little bit. So that time it was nice and clean. And we're in. When your RV's unlocked, it's just like that. Thanks, 3-in-1. Thank you so much to 3-in-1 for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you get everything you need to maintain your RV by clicking our link down below. Let's continue the video. Yeah. Wowzers, guys, I was not kidding when I said the master bedroom and the kitchen has a ton of space in here. Andrea, what are you doing up there? I'm sitting by the air conditioning. You are the captain today. That's right. Tell me what's going on. All right, I have a nice cup holder here, a place for my cell phone, my automatic, my auto leveling. We got the traditional uh, Ford steering wheel here. Here's our dashboard. Yes. We got our buttons, our gen start, all that good stuff. And we have our little camera here, which see if it comes on when I put my blanket on. Yes. Oh, no signal. No signal, but that is your left camera. Oh wait, there it is, there it is. There it is, there it is. That's your left side, your right side, your reverse side. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and everything. And both these seats do swivel mats. Yes. There's a pedestal table that would go in between. Right there. Yes. Cup holders here. And if you're the captain, that makes me the co-captain. I got nice office area right here where I'm working. Very nice. I love this. I love that table. Both seats swivel. I can oh, recline wow. back. Oh yeah, this is a very nice co-captain cockpit area, and I love it. And then we do have some storage right here and here. And here. Very nice. Pretty gray cabinetry. Yes, and then we do have a bunk over the cab. It is very nice. You got the ladders there. It's the Lippert style, so you know it drops down and raises up. Super easy and nice. It's Pulled, absolutely fantastic. Pulled 500 pounds. Yes, and then over here, Look at this beautiful cabinetry. It is pretty. Thor just does it better than everybody. Well, not everybody, but you know, you know what I'm saying when I say that. They do a fantastic job. And then let's check out this valance, huh? America wants to know what Andrea thinks. Approved beam! Oh, Andrea loves those valances. Yes, they are cute, aren't yes, they? Yes, great job, Thor. Not only that, because we are in the Challenger, you know you're getting your daytime blinds and privacy blinds which is very nice, but I don't know if, if it's as nice as these theater seats. Right here. Uh-oh, is it the pool thing? Yep. Let me try the other side. Oh, oh see that's coming out actually. There you go. Sometimes we just need a little help. There you go. These new motorhomes are always sticky, Andrea. Very nice theater seats. I'm sitting here, it's comfortable. We got our cup holders right here. And then right here we do have a remote holder. Very, very nice. And Andrea, I'm directly across from the entertainment center. This is a very nice TV, Insignia TV with a sound bar right there. Windows on both sides. And an alligator painting. Yes, very nice. And then here's the dinette. This does drop down to make a bed. You got all your remotes right here. Very good size dinette. I do have a little bit of storage underneath here. And then what about there? We have it over here as well. And we have a car seat tether. Oh, I didn't even see that. Not only that, Andre, I love this side cushion right here. So you can sit back while you're driving down the road. You have your dinette or whatever. 
so you don't need to necessarily be sitting in the theater seats and then again both windows on both sides look absolutely fantastic we do you have looks like daytime shades yeah we didn't go over that did we oh we did oh we did and privacy shades but andre it's so nice we should do it twice drops down to make a bed and then above the door over here we have very nice a little bit of storage because you can never have enough now andrea america wants to see this huge it kitchen. It is so pretty. Look at this. Talk to me. I love it. Solid surface countertop, super cute backsplash. We've got a uh, cabinet with an adjustable shelf. Yes, ma'am. Over here, we have uh, three drawers. Wow. Soft clothes. Wow. Look at that there. Oh that my God. Humongous. Throw it in. Throw it in. Man, I, hey, I love the soft clothes. Me too. Above the sink, we have more storage. I'm glad they gave you a window. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of counter space in here. We have a double sink here with an extension. Very beautiful. And what do we got under here? Oh, a big trash can. Hey, that's a $176 trash can. Yes. Or and no, 174. Okay. Yes. Sounds better. Um, Right here we have the convection microwave. Beautiful. Next to that is actually some more storage. Oh, a little sugar and spice and everything nice. Uh, cute. And how, I like how they've continued the backsplash. I right. like this. Right, hand laid it looks like. Is that hand laid? Feels like Yes, it. very nice. A uh, two burner propane cooktop and a one burner induction cooktop. Okay. And then the gigantic drawers. Wow. One. Two, wow. Three. So nice. Pantry over here. Oh, my favorite type of pantry, too. Hold on. At the bottom as well. Yes. Well, so. Show us at the bottom as well, please. Because it might well, be different. Oh, oh, oh you go. got it. Very. Wow, Andre. That is a lot of pantry space. It's my favorite. All right. And then behind is the uh, Whirlpool residential refrigerator with I'm the ice it. maker, water yep. purifier. Yes. Nice and cold already. Wow. Fantastic, Andrea. Okay. Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. You ready for this? I'm ready. MSRP on this motorhome here. Stock number 291346, a 2024, is $257,798. Andrea. That is MSRP. Sale price, 2024. We have it 32% off. To a sale price of only 174,995. Andrea, nobody in America beats our prices, and that's because we're with General RV. And if you guys want to get this motorhome, possibly an even better price, go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, America, and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys, and they, I promise you guys, they will get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea, let me show everybody this bathroom. Before All I do right. that, here's our uh, system right here. I love this, it works really well slide outs and everything master lights it's very nice okay look at this decent step up wow this is a nice shower andre one piece fi fiberglass shower you have the uh shower miser system right here which will help when you're boondocking get your water warm tons of space here we even have a nice little seat this is a phenomenal shower look they have different balances in here and those are cute nice i like them Okay, so over here we have the medicine cabinet. Yes. Uh, lots of counter space here. You okay. got a nice sink. We've got a drawer. And then underneath we have more storage. Wow, very nice. We got liquefied sitting on the countertop, guys. That is the absolute best black tank treatment in the RV industry. Please go to primepoopposition.com right now where we have links to both Amazon and eBay or pick it up at your local General RV porcelain this is a prime poop position Bing. very nice i oh. do want to point out if i didn't that this is kind of a regular door and not a pocket door okay okay very very nice andrea 
And then look at this, Andrea. All of this can be wardrobe space, but it can be extended pantry space because it's kind of in the middle. This is absolutely fantastic, Andrea. See, this is this is enough space for me. Right, see, Andrea and I, we don't spend a ton of time in a living room or a dinette area, so we rather have the bigger bedroom, you know what I'm saying? And then more look storage. at this, even more. More, 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 because you can never have enough. Good entryway right here with the pocket door. Even more storage, but guess what? This is also prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. Wow. I love that. Look at this, more wardrobe space. Andrea, this isn't storage, this is storage. Storage? Yeah. Yeah, it's storage. Very nice. More drawers, two big drawers there. And over here. Insignia TV. TV. It's kind of in a weird, weird spot. Oh, I don't think so. I think it's fantastic. Nice storage behind there. Why do you think it's in a weird spot? Uh, because of the person. Oh, yeah, here. yeah, yeah. That is kind of weird, yeah. actually. Yeah, I mean, not the weirdest, but mm. not the unweirdest. You open that one. Look at how big and spacious this bedroom is. Very nice big window here. Look at all this, okay. USB on both sides. Floor oh, cabinets. okay. We've done a super C with this floor plan, haven't we? I think so. Because I'm all like, man, I felt like I just did this a couple months ago. But I looked and we didn't, but I think there was a Thor Pasadena that had this floor plan. So four cabinets above the bed, cute headboard, uh, opposing windows, nightstands on both sides yes. with the storage. Yeah, storage. Storage. Yes. Uh, USB and there is no storage under the bed because it is a uh, lift, what is it called? Tilt a bed or? It's a storage. Yeah. No storage. On, no no storage. storage under the bed, Andrea. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, you know what time it is. It's time to give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, let's do three things we dislike about it first, and I have dislike number one. I'm glad you do, because I, I didn't want to do dislikes first. The heck's going on? I guess somebody's turned on a diesel pusher. But, um, yeah, dislikes is going to be very tough for me. So, Andrea... What's this like, number one? You're you're right behind it, or you're right in front of it. Right here, this placement of the TV is very strange to me. Um, if I, this is my side of the bed normally where I sleep. Okay. I wouldn't be, I would have to like definitely turn on my side constantly to be able to see the TV. I get Bad it. Bad angle, um, that's my dislike. That is dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two. I got a dislike number two if you got dislike number three. Just like number two, Andrea, at the end of the day, the living room space of this motorhome is very small. This is your only living room. This is your, you know, for how big this motorhome is, you could have had a lot bigger living room, but that's also going to be something that I like about this motorhome. So this is definitely dislike number two. And then Andrea, do you have a dislike number three? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Tink, tink, tink. Gosh, it's pretty tough, man. I mean, I can give you dislike number three. Yeah, well, it's a ahead. It's a little one, and actually I could have comboed it. But again, Andre, this motorhome's so nice. I don't like these theater seats. I don't mind these theater seats if you also give me a sofa. But like when these are out, you're blocking the walkway and it's already not a big walkway for the living room area as well. And Andrea, overall, a phenomenal motorhome. And it was actually hard to find dislikes. It was. Oh, and I got another dislike. The way that 50 amp power cord reel oh, goes yeah, in. Oh yeah, that's right. Like you gotta like yes. angle it and it's already so tough. We hate those. Yeah. Come on, Thor. We'll talk to Bob Martin about that when we're in Europe. He's the CEO. He has the power to do whatever. And so we'll talk to the biggest boss. I think he'll listen to us. Do you? I hope so. That's three things we don't like about it. Now for the easiest part of the day, Andrea. That was the dislikes. Yes, three things we love about this motorhome. Would you like to go first or me? You can go first. Andrea, well, I'm not going to. You go first. Okay, I'll go first. Because it's right behind you. Yes! This kitchen! What? I love all the countertop space in here. Unbelievable. Uh, all the storage. It's just, it's a nice kitchen and you could definitely prepare a lot of stuff and still have space. Got a nice residential exactly. refrigerator and everything. That's number one. Andre, number two is going to be all the storage and this full wall, tons of it, tons of storage, and you are able to get a stackable washer and dryer. That is number two. And then number three, Andre, is the opposing slide outs in this bedroom. This bedroom is huge, fantastic, and awesome. 
And I just can't tell you how much this works for certain people. Like, they don't need a big living room area. They'd rather have the big kitchen and the big bedroom, and it's awesome. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this RV or any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, America. Our team will help everybody get the absolute best price in America. That's on this RV or any RV. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Um, Thor does read the comments, and they do watch the videos, so please leave your feedback. Uh, we hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.